What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another Lost Talk video. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Wandering Merchants in Lost Ark. Wandering Merchants are NPCs that are only available at certain times and locations and they sell mostly exclusive items. Usually they sell some kind of food, wrap or item, a card and a special food ingredient for your adventure tome. The merchant will spawn on all of the channels and will be available for 25 minutes after which it will disappear and have refreshed stock when it spawns the next time so you can purchase the items it sells multiple times per day. Wandering merchants are important for three various reasons. The first reason is that they sell cards that you might not have. Collecting a full card set will give you roster wide stat bonuses so it's important to eventually have all the card sets. Awakening the set gives you even more bonuses and to do that you need lots of copies of the same cards. Bird on East Lutera sells the rare Seria card which is part of the Lost Wind Cliff card set and Mac on Annika sells the legendary Way card which is part of the Light of Salvation card set. Both of these sets are the best card sets to use for any DPS class and buying this card multiple times is the easiest way to awaken this set and get the bonuses it provides. The second reason is the Rappo items they provide. Same as with the cards, these Rappo items can be purchased once per spawn, so you can acquire them multiple times per day, meaning that if you really farm these, you can raise your Rappo with any NPC really fast. All of the NPCs have a chance to sell a legendary quality Rappo item. Sometimes the Wandering Merchant will sell a Rappo item that cannot be used to raise Rappo instantly, like the Energy Capsule or the Tournament Entrance Stamp. These items you need to exchange for a proper Rappo item at the Rappo exchange window on their specific continent. So the energy capsule which you got from the Wandering Merchant in Artatine needs to be exchanged at the Rappo exchange vendor at the same continent, so in this case at Stern. So it's just an extra step that in my opinion is completely unnecessary and shouldn't be in the game. And the third reason is that in most continents Wandering Merchant usually sells an item that is required for one of the foods on your adventure tome, meaning that interacting with these merchants is necessary if you want to get your adventure tome fully completed and you kinda do want to do that because those adventure tomes give you lots of good rewards like skill points, collectibles and new merchants for your stronghold. But anyways, now that we know why we should be interested in these merchants, let's take a look at how to actually find one. The easiest way is to head to Max Roll and check this easy to understand list. The link will be in the description. On this list you will see a server time and then a list of NPCs and continents you can find the NPC on. Scroll further down and you can pick a specific NPC and see all of its possible spawn locations. So when I want to engage in this content, this is how I do it. I first check the server time in game at the top left of your screen. I then check what wandering merchants will spawn next and then I set up all of my characters to different continents and wait for the wandering merchants to spawn. I then start to go to all of their possible spawn locations to eventually find the wandering merchant, purchase the card and the rappo item and move on to the next one. It helps out to have a second monitor with the merchant locations on it or you can use your phone. To save time I go to the locations that are next to tripods first, especially on Yorn and Punica. I repeat this process till I have visited all the wandering merchants that spawned. Some guilds and specific servers have things like discord pods that automatically ping you with the locations of wandering merchants, but that is not required, you can easily visit them all if you have enough characters once you get the hang of it. And if you want to participate in creating a positive community around this game, you can even post the location of the wandering merchant to the area chat to help others find it faster and as a reminder that it has spawned, especially if it's selling a legendary rappo item or a good card. But that's about it. Everything you need to know about wandering merchants in Lost Ark. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Lost Ark content. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. There is also a channel membership available should you want to support me more. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.